Hi, I'm Julie McCaffrey from the Chicago Botanic Garden. And if you're thinking of starting a green roof garden at your home, you'll be interested in our conversation with Richard Hockey, the garden's plant evaluation manager. So we're looking at some of the plants that are going to be planted in the green roof garden. What types of plants are we looking at? A lot of the plants here are actually sedums, different types of sedums, uh, low growing that will go on the roof, uh, as well as uh, a number of other uh, plants, again, both tested and untested, things like opuntia, the, the prickly pear cactus, uh, ruellia, which is a, uh, the hardy petunia, there's the nodding onion, allium cernuum, as well as the ozark sundrops, which is um, enotherum macrocarpa. So it's a variety of things. There's both uh, herbaceous plants as well as some small woody plants, roses, um, uh, fragrant sumac, things like that. How many plants total are going to be? How many varieties of plants? Uh, right now the plant list is about 320 different types of plants. Um, we're in the tens and uh, multiple tens of thousands of actual individual plants. So Richard, what are the benefits of green roofs? The benefits of green roofs are that they will provide insulation both in the summer and in the winter, which will lower the energy cost for the building. It also, uh, the water that runs through the green roof, uh, the plants will capture some of the pollutants that are in the water. And it also provides an environment for uh, birds and insects. Can you tell us about the evaluation program? What are the goals? The goals of the evaluation program are actually to broaden the plant palette that can be used on green roofs. So uh, over time, we hope to come up with a great list of new plants that have been untried, but we find that they're successful and that will encourage people around the world to use a broader palette of plants. And how did you, you and your team select the plants? In the evaluation portion, we looked at envir natural environments around the, the world that have similar harsh conditions, uh, low rain, lower rainfall, um, low soil depths, um, and just hot, dry conditions. And we looked at plants that th thrived in those kind of environments to see uh, which ones might grow here. What, what are you the most excited to see when the Green Rift Garden is installed and the evaluation starts? Actually, I think the thing, it's not a specific plant that I'm interested in. I actually want to see how the plants move and change and, and grow and seed around. And I really want to see how they decide to um, live on the green roof. You know, we're going to plant them in a design, but will they stay in that design? Will they move? Will they like an association with another plant better? Will the original plant die out and seedlings will show up? I think that that dynamic of how the roof will grow over the next few years is what's the most intriguing to me. How will the plants be monitored? Well, the plants will be monitored by the plant evaluation staff, both just visually looking at the plants and, and, and assessing how they're growing, but also the roof is equipped with monitoring equipment that will give us a reading on, a, on can be as, as uh, often as every second through it throughout the day on soil moisture content, uh, the amount of rainfall, the wind velocity on the roof, how much light is actually reaching those plants, as well as the temperature at varying levels, uh, a meter above the plant within the soil medium or the growing medium, as well as in the varying layers of the, the roof structure itself. So if a plant fails or succeeds, part of that story is that information because it, it tells you whether or not those conditions are right for that plant survival. And it also tells you the green benefits, the sustainable benefits that we're achieving. Correct, it will monitor, it monitors the temperature with, uh, at the uh, uh, ceiling in the, in the building, so it will de de help us determine whether we've actually saved, reduced the, uh, the temperature uh, and, and create an insulation barrier and, and what effects that has on the energy needs of the building. Great, so how are we gonna let people know the results of the evaluation? Eventually, when the trial is done and we've, we've evaluated the plants for long enough, we will report the information in publications as well as present the findings at uh, Green Roof conferences. But in the interim, we're hoping to keep uh, in touch with the average gardener and the green industry uh, professionals through our garden blog, uh, keeping them apprised of what has succeeded as well as what has failed. And it'll be just a beautiful place to enjoy an afternoon, right? I think so. I think it's going to be a wonderful experience. Uh, from my point of view, uh, having gone up on the roof, it's a, it's a view of the Chicago Botanic Garden that I'd never seen before, and I think that will be interesting to people as well. Great. 
So thanks for talking to us, Richard. Can we check in with you later? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we The roof will be an ongoing project, and we look forward to sharing the information. Great. Thanks so much.